That, that, I don't think it's working quite right. Hello? Oh, okay. Hi, Goran Pulich from New York City. Uh, I have a, a two-part question. First part, very short. Uh, I think a lot of people have difficulty valuing businesses because of some uh, convoluted accounting schemes that, that are out there. Do you have any uh, suggestions in terms of books or something you can read where you can sort of make sense of some of the accounting uh, stories that are going around? Well, that's a good question. And Abe Breloff used to write for Barron's quite frequently on, on various accounting machinations, and, and, and Barron's has continued that somewhat. But you're right that there are people out there who will try to paint pictures with accounting that are something far from economic reality. And sometimes the rules of accounting themselves lead to that. Uh, I would say that when the accounting confuses you, I would just tend to forget about it at, uh, as, a, as a company. I mean, it, it, it's probably, it may well be intentional, and in any event, you don't want to go near it. I, I, we have never had any great investment results from companies whose accounting we regarded as suspect. I can't, I can't think of a one. Can you try? No. no. It's, 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 a, it's a very bad sign. I made uh, a short sale once that worked out well <laughs> in a case like that. No. It really... Accounting, uh, accounting can be a uh, accounting can offer you a lot of insight into the character of, of, of management, um, and I would say there's a lot. You know, there's a you run into a fair amount of uh, bad accounting. You used to call it creative accounting, but you, it um, uh, and you probably run into a lot more if it was allowed. But some companies have been able to push their auditors pretty far, and, and uh, I would be very skeptical of anything that that looks suspicious to you. I think there have been a, there have been a couple of things written, but I can't I can't think of where they've appeared, where people talk about the questions of you know what. Obviously, if if some prepaid expense uh, deferred asset accounts start building up uh, suspiciously high. And inventories look out of line, you know, with sales and particularly the trend of them and all that. You, you want to look twice at companies like that. Life insurance, uh, you know, frequently, uh, you know, we see weak accounting in. It. Uh, you can, when you don't have a product where revenues and expenses are being matched up on something close to cash in the short term, you have the opportunity for people playing games with numbers. And, and some people have learned how to do that very well, and they've, and they've sometimes created long-lasting stock manipulation or promotion schemes that have enriched themselves at the, where they've enriched the managers or the creators of it at the expense of the public over time. If you ever get suspicious about accounting, just go on to the next company.